with, with TTR, um, uh, both FAP and FAC, uh, because it's a rare disease and most physicians have not seen these patients, uh, people present with disorders and if they don't know that they have a family history of amyloidosis, they often get misdiagnosed and passed around the healthcare system until, if they're fortunate, they run into an expert that were properly diagnosed. So significant education is required in the community to appropriately diagnose, particularly in uh, the TTR program. So for uh, FAP, it's very important, obviously, to get a family history and understand if uh, anybody in the family had neurological impairment symptoms, uh, gastric uh, issues, peripheral neuropathy, and, and loss of ambulatory ability. And if that's true and people are reporting those kind of symptoms, we can get uh, genetically tested to see if there's a mutation for TTR. For FAC, uh, there, are peop there are mutations of known uh, origin. In fact, the leading cause of FAC that we know about today is a mutation for people of Western African descent. So if someone presents uh, with Western African descent and, and presents with a cardiomyopathy, physicians sh should check family history and understand if there may be a uniform cardiac buildup that's more exemplary of TTR-mediated amyloidosis than, say, uh, hypertension or another heart condition.